What's up, Comets? I'm Sage. And I'm Delaney, and we're here with the weekly news. You know, getting this close to graduation, I can't help but think back on my musical career. Wow, really? What was your favorite role you've played? Definitely young Simba in The Lion King. That show is so amazing. Speaking of The Lion King, did you see that Disney announced their new movie, Mufasa? I actually didn't. Let's check in with Lucy and see if she has any more info. Now on to Lucy with What's Trending. Hey, Comets! It's Lucy, and welcome back to What's Trending. Let's get started. To start us off, Jonathan Bailey, Haley Atwell, and Eddie Marson will join Heartstopper for Season 3. Blue Ivy Carter is making her film debut with her mom Beyonce in Mufasa the Lion King. Gabby Douglas is returning to competitive gymnastics and qualified for the U.S. Championships. The 2012 Olympic All-Around Champion competed Saturday for the first time in nearly eight years. Sophia Bush and Ashlyn Harris made their red carpet debut as a couple. The One Tree Hill star came out as queer and confirmed her relationship with a soccer player in a recent essay. The 2024 Met Gala will celebrate Costume Institute's new exhibition, Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion. And the dress code is the Garden of Time. So many people are looking forward to the red carpet looks. I know I am, but that's all I have this week, Comets. Bye! I am so excited to see Gabby Douglas' return to gymnastics. She is so talented, it's insane. I know, right? Man, I wish I was that flexible. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> no, I know my limits. <laughs> Lame. Well, anyways, we should probably get back on track to the topic of sports. You're right. Let's see if Ava has any updates for us. Hey Comets, it's Ava back with your weekly sports update. Both girls and boys varsity lacrosse played St. John's Tuesday, April 30th and won. Boys 22-1 and the girls 11-4. Monday, May 6th, boys basketball will be home against DeWitt at 4. Girls varsity soccer will also be playing DeWitt at home at 4. Girls varsity tennis will have a match on our court at 4.30 against Lansing Eastern. And girls varsity lacrosse will be away against Midland at 6. Tuesday, May 7th, boys will be away against FH Northern at 7. Now here's Gianna and Landon Parker with Around the Diamond. Hey Comets, it's Gianna and this week I'm here with boys varsity lacrosse player Landon Parker. Are you ready to answer a few questions? I am. Let's do it. How long have you been playing lacrosse? Uh, 10 years. Wow, well, that's a long time. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to study business at Monmouth University and play lacrosse. Awesome, well good luck. Uh, what's your biggest goal? Uh, probably to graduate with a good degree from yes. college and get a successful job. Absolutely, that's everyone's, yeah. Um, would you rather fart rainbows or poop jelly beans? Poop jelly beans for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. At least you can eat it, right? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite memory from playing lacrosse? Uh, definitely beating Brighton in our first ever regional championship. Awesome. And then do you prefer Stanley, Hydro Flask, or Awala? Awala all the way. Yeah, absolutely. What position do you play? Uh, face off midfielder. Okay. Um, what is your pre-game ritual? So on the drive to the high school, I listen to No Role Models by J. Cole. And then in the car before I get out, I do a pre-game pray. Awesome, awesome. And then what is your what is the best ice cream flavor? Uh, I know it's a hard one. Probably Michigan Black Cherry. Hey, yeah, that's that's a back to the Sports All right, Landon, are you ready Both to hit the home run? Boys oh, yeah. Let's do St. it. John's Tuesday, April 30th, and one. Boys 22 to one, and the girls 11 to four. That was a really Monday, good hit, Landon. Thank you. You're welcome. Who do you want to see on here next week? Natalie Carlson. Carlson. You're up next, Natalie. Okay, Delaney. Girls Very varsity tennis question. will have a match you on our court at 4:30 against Lansing oh, Eastern. Oh, that's a tough and question. I feel like I would have more fun farting rainbows. At six. Well, personally, I'd go with the other option. Tuesday, May 7th, boys will be away against FH Northern at seven. Well, agree to disagree. Now here's Jenna and Landon Parker with the Diamond. Emma. Oh, that's a good point. Now on to Emma with Pulse. What is your most used emoji? The crying one. Nice. Eggplant. Uh, the rolling my eyes emoji. The little octopus emoji. The crying emoji, but I use it as a laughing emoji. Okay. Yeah. Same. I use the sobbing emoji the most, but like as laughing. Yes. Nice. Thank you. What is your most used emoji? It's this emoji. Yes. Uh, the crying laughing emoji. The crying emoji. The hard eyes emoji. Mine's just the regular heart. Mine is the crying one. Mm -hmm. The smirking cat. What is your most recently used emoji? As you could probably guess, it's the thumbs up emoji. Nice. You know what? Let's check what my most used emoji is. It's the heart as emoji. I use it very sarcastically. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. My most used emoji has got to be the smiley face. Basic. Well, speaking of our comments, our feature for this week is Mrs. Marsh. She will be talking about her new forensic science class being offered next year. Now on to you, Marsh. Uh, we're going to study a lot of things um, and use a lot of different 
um, objectives across Michigan State curriculum. Um, we're going to start with deductive reasoning, so we'll learn how to think and how to um, uh, take a lot of pieces of information and put them together. We're going to talk about the law. What are your rights? What aren't your rights? When you commit a crime, when you're being searched, all those kinds of things. We'll look at physical evidence. How do you collect physical evidence? Um, what kinds of physical evidence are out there? What do they mean? Um, how can we use them to prove or disprove a crime was committed? Uh, the crime scene. So we're going to look at a crime scene. We're going to make our own crime scenes um, where you have to develop a crime scene and plant evidence for another group to find and then you have to solve each other's crimes based on their crime scene they made in a box. So a lot of dead Barbies are going to happen in that. Um, we're going to talk about serial killers and we're going to do a um, each person is going to study one different serial killer. Uh, we'll look at fingerprinting, so we'll do all the different techniques that you can do for fingerprinting. We'll take our fingerprints. Um, we'll do ballistics. We'll learn about how can a um, bullet coming from a gun tell you whether, like, how do we know it came from this one gun? Um, how do we know what kind of gun it came from? Um, how do we know which direction it was fired from? So all kinds of stuff about ballistics toxicology, meaning like drugs and poisons and things like that, and testing for these substances. Um, we'll look at blood, we'll look at DNA, um, how DNA is used in the crime, um, in solving a crime or convicting somebody of a crime. And then if we have time, we'll get into some arson and explosives and see um, a little bit about fire and, and how that works in crime scenes. So lots of really exciting topics um, that we'll be able to apply our um, science principles to. I will definitely be taking that class next year. It looks super interesting. That does sound like a really fun class. Well, comments, that's all we've got for you this week. We're, We're out. out.